According to the police, Road Island Amwadako, an employee of the Lands Commission in the Ashanti region, has been missing since 2nd September 2021. The police say her husband, Dr. Wilberforce Agri, has confessed to faking his wife's supposed disappearance, although he has still not been able to disclose her whereabouts. During the previous court hearing, the prosecution informed the court that the Attorney General's office has taken an interest in the matter and as a result wants to take over the case. The Attorney General's representatives were however not in court on Friday, 10th December 2021, forcing an adjournment. Following a series of adjournments, the Ghana Institution of Surveyors, a concerned stakeholder in the case, warns stakeholders to ensure that the case is not unduly delayed, as the missing person is a member of the association. I want to say that we really miss our sister Rhoda and we are keenly following the proceedings. I will only plead with the authorities to expedite action on the investigations so that whatever the issues are, the perpetrators will be brought to book. For now, we will wait and see what happens on the 24th. When we all gather here. Friends and loved ones of Rodalyn Amwadako, who were at the court premises in their numbers, also called for a speedy trial. Still at the Asqua District Court, it has once again adjourned the case in which three persons are standing trial for the alleged involvement in the death of social activist Ibrahim Mohammed at Ijra. This was after the lead prosecutor, Chief Superintendent Kofi Blagoji, could not appear in court but asked a colleague to stand in for him. The Attorney General's advice on the case was also not ready. The Magistrate, Her Worship, Ikuye Dubuahin Express, had dissatisfaction with the prosecution over the delay in the case. She stated that this was the second time there was no status update from the prosecution as the suspects were once again not present in court. Loyal for the brother of Ibrahim Mohammed, Sechunam Anaglate, in an interview with City News, expressed his disappointment. I don't think it's fair that this matter unduly delays. It serves nobody's interest. And I don't think it's fair to the accused persons. You know, they are they've been kept in custody since July and nobody knows what is going on. From the Squad District Court, I am Edward upon Marfa for City News.